Gigi and Nate, is this the one with the monkey? This is the one with the monkey. Uh, okay. True story. No. Oh. oh. It's based on the fact that apparently these, and I can always say this name wrong, cop, copykin, cop, yeah, Sure. these mm. monkeys, these monkeys <laughs> are actually used as service animals. So they took that concept and they came up with this movie about this kid named Nate who, and it's kind of tragic, he uh, contracts meningitis. He jumps off this cliff, some dirty water, and that's that. And before you know it, about a, uh, two months later, he's paralyzed from the chest down. Mm -hmm. Really, more than anything, this film plays like a, a parent's nightmare uh, as you see this poor kid's life just cut cut to the quick. Well, he considers suicide, and the parents say, hey, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's get you a monkey. And the monkey, <laughs> Gigi, oh, this is, but this monkey can do anything. I'm telling you. I'm surprised this monkey couldn't make dinner for everyone. <laughs> because, I mean, there's, there's nothing this monkey can't do. And uh, he's just inspiring and helps the kid get through some rough times. And, but then there's an animal activist who uh, sees them uh, in the grocery store and says, you can't have that monkey and starts a protest thing and wants to get the laws changed so that these monkeys aren't allowed. This movie is really stupid. I have to say, it is really dumb. I, I wish that it were the way it worked because apparently in Tennessee you can propose that a uh, law get changed and the assembly takes up the next day and it's changed. It's incredible. I mean, it, the efficiency of this government is unbelievable. Huh. This is what I call a transition film. This is the type of movie you show someone who's 8, 9, or 10 trying to get them away from cartoons into more adult films because the issues are very simple. It's all laid out in a very simple way. And, you know, it would get them interested in asking questions. Anyone beyond that point, though, you're going to say, my God, I can feel brain cells dying <laughs> oh as I watch this. So skip <laughs> oh. this one. I will be reviewing tomorrow on the morning show, Honk to Save uh, Your Soul, and also Samaritan, the Sylvester Stallone superhero film Ooh. on Amazon. Ooh. Okay, I saw that one. TJ went to watch oh, it, and I was like, uh. Maybe? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, for more reviews and witty banter, you can check out the Real Talk with Chuck and Pam YouTube channel. Um, they've got video reviews and segments on their website. They've got a great Facebook page where they're always giving something fun away. And we do appreciate you um, being here today, Chuck. Yeah.